Julian Grace Martin is on your left with a red green Vengevine deck. And Terrence Campo is on your right with Dredge. So this will be pretty interesting. We are underway here in game number one of round number nine. A mountain is where we're going to start things, snow covered style. Snow covered mountain. I approve. I like a brew. And his opponent thinks he's playing uh, Scred right now. Yeah. Or Jim Davis's random red decks. Here is a faithless looting. All right, the jig is up. Okay, so it just could be Dredge. The opponent figured out exactly what he's playing. It could be a mirror. Draw one, draw two. Ooh, white border bolts, too. Respect. Yeah, they look like revised ones. Yeah. There goes a Vengevine and a land. Pass the turn back. Let's go over to Terrence Campo. Picked up a Copper Line Gorge. There is Copper Line Gorge. Let's see what the turn one play will be for him. I believe that's a Faithless Looting, yeah. Ooh, what's that one from? Promo style. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Bloodgast and uh, Prize Amalgam will go to the graveyard. Yeah, how, how do I get my hands on some of those Faithless Lootings? Dot com. We don't have that image. Oh, wow. Um, it's tough right there. Got some discarding taking place. He cycled the Street Wraith, and yep. now he's cycling the Neonate. Yep. Stomping ground untapped. Hollow one. Dope. Vengevine back. Yes. Yes. All right. Love it. And this is one of the things you need to do against the dredge deck is get a clock on the board. You know, in, in the mid to late game, the dredge deck just generates so much card advantage and it has so much inevitability that you, you have to get aggressive against it. Now we got to take a look at a couple cards here. We're going to start with Vengevine. Sure. Because uh, some people may not know what Vengevine does. Now, Vengevine, two green, green, four, three, haste. That part, whatever. This part, whenever you cast a spell, if it's the second creature spell you cast this turn, you may return Vengevine from your graveyard to your hand. So he uh, did Julian. He discarded Vengevine earlier. Yep. And then he played an insolent neonate. Mm -hmm. That's creature one. Creature two was the hollow one, which we'll take a look at next. It says hollow one costs two less to cast for each card you cycled or discarded this turn. So Cycle Street Wraith is one. Yep. And then Insolent Neonate's ability is two, so it costs just one. And that was the second creature that was used to bring back Vengevine. Easy breezy. So for the low, low cost of two mana, he ended up with a 4-4 four, four and a 4-3 haste. Yep. That's it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now for Terrence Campo, we see a little Faithless Looting action taking place. Conflagrate and Narc Amoeba went to the graveyard. He's got a couple copies of Narc Amoeba in hand. He, of course, would rather have those on the top of his deck and dredging them. But he doesn't even have a dredger just yet. So not an ideal start here for the dredge player. And I don't think he's at 20 life right now. We need yeah. an update on these life totals. Definitely at 16. We might have taken two from that Blood Crypt. No. No two from the Blood Crypt. I don't think. I have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> it's too late in the day for you? Yo, yeah, oh man. I do like this, though. Oh, yeah, I like Hollow One, Vengevine, and Monastery Swiss Beer. Not sure across. what's going on. Just attack. Yeah. It's the easiest way to do it. And I think Julian has a bolt that he can pile on here if he wants to. Well, if he has Become Immense, his opponent's dead. Well, so. the, yeah, the Become Immense is. Just <laughs> oh. but even this looks like 13 to me. I count 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 as well. So Terrence is down to three. Yeah, that's a big turn. Well, pretty good turn. Let's go back over to Campo. And Julian's rocking a couple of Teamer Battle Rage as well. Yeah. Those are always on with Hollow One and Vengevine. That's true. It's pretty easy actually to turn those on. And Terrence Campo is... His draw was awful. He's in an unenviable spot here, being at three life. It's kind of weird because I think like his draw initially was okay with Faithless Looting. You're yep. going to keep that a lot of the time. Yeah, double Faithless Looting. Yeah. Here comes Bloodgast. With the payoff cards, you know, Bloodgast and Prized Amalgam. It's a hand that I think he has to keep. 
Conflagrate discarding six cards, so four and two. And now the plan is to chump block, or at least that's not a chump block, it'll be a trade on Vengevine if he gets the opportunity. That's funny, if this Vengevine trades, it might just come right back onto the board. Mm -hmm. In. Yep, there's your trade. Julian's going to play an insolent neonate times two, get back Vengevine, pass. I like it. Yeah, same. Campo will draw. Not looking good. Yep, dead. Yep. Got to be quick against Dredge, and that's exactly what Julian Grace Martin was with his red-green Vengevine deck. He is currently up a game over Terrence Campo and his Dredge deck. Yeah, turn two, 4-4 four, four, and 4-3 four, haste. Get to work. Let's go to the sideboards. This is, I, I like a brew. I like a brew to close out the day, too. Uh, we'll go to Campo, who's got three Nature's Claim, two Leyline of the Void, two Ancient Grudge, two Lava Axe. No. No way. Got to be Lightning Axe. <laughs> well, he wrote down, well, that's awkward. <laughs> I, uh, be I bet there are lightning axes in that sideboard. Yeah, board. two collective brutality, a vengeful pharaoh, a dark blast, and on the bone, and an abrupt decay. Unless he's just really feeling frisky with the five mana sorcery, <laughs> which, yeah, I find to be rather unlikely. What he's, he's yelling, catch. Yeah. Catch. Yeah. What, do you, what do you like? Uh, what do you like for Campo? <laughs> five to deal five. Not where you're I want to be. You're not boarding those in. You're not boarding those in. However, uh, if those are lightning axes. I do like those. I do like those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some of these cards, like a like card like Lee Line of the Void, I, you know, he, he the game went so quick and he saw so little out of Julian's deck, he might think that he wants that card. Okay. You know, we saw Vengevine and he might think with all this discard, there's some more graveyard synergies. We know from looking at the list that uh, the Vengevine is the only card he has to worry about. So I don't think I'd want to bring the Lee Lines in especially now that he's on the play. Um, a lot of these cards are, are just not great. I actually like the Gnaw to the Bone a lot to buy him some more time against this aggressive deck. Um, and the Lava slash Lightning Axes, depending on what they are, seem like they would be strong removal for a quick 4-4. Four -four. Got a pretty good feeling there, Lightning Axes. So we'll just go with that for now. Julian Grace Martin. Two Ancient Grudge, two Blood Moon, two Ley Line of the Void, two Roast, two Feed the Clan, two Destructive Revelry, a Goblin Guide, a Grim Lava Mancer, and a Domri Rad. I think, uh, I think Ley Line of the Void is the pretty easy part. Yeah, but what the, else do you like? The, the Ley Line of the Void seems spectacular here. If I was Julian, I don't think I'd want to thin out my deck too much. Like we were saying during game one, it's very important for him to come out aggressive against the Dredge deck. Going into the mid game, you know, what. what Terrence is doing is just so much more powerful. So I think Julian should keep most of his deck intact the way it is. Still have the Become Immense Team or Battle Rage combo in there. You know, just, just squeeze in these two ley lines. If he draws one in his opener, awesome. If he doesn't, he still has the aggressive plan. Well, there are the plans there for both players. They'll shuffle up. Get ready here for game number two. And while they do that, we're going to talk about SCG Game Night one more time here on this Saturday, where all month long, every week in August. We got sweet pins and tokens of our good friend Puggernaut. This playful pup will not be walled off. Just polluting like nobody's business, this yeah, guy. Yeah, that, that, a lot of smoke coming out of the old Puggernaut there, but giving beatdowns nonetheless, definitely breaking through some walls. Oh, yeah. Uh, for the month of September, it's going to stink a little bit because we got old Smell Snare there. 1-1 one, one Wizard Token, exclusive pins and tokens all September long. And as you may have seen earlier this week, on StarCityGames.com, Twitter, and Facebook. For the month of October, it is the truly adorable Vampire Night Fox pins and tokens. Go to StarCityGames.com slash Game Night for more information. Uh, for stores looking to sign up, please get in contact with your StarCityGames.com in-store play representative. And hopefully, you find a Game Night near you to pick up some of these awesome pins and tokens. Yeah, that's a cute little fox. Wait till you see, I'll tell you, wait till you see, uh, not October. Can, can I just enjoy the fox right now? You can. Okay. You can. But yeah. I don't want to get bit by that thing. That'd probably be bad. Probably be bad. I don't know. Being a vampire might be sweet. Uh, what if it's weird? 
Like it's a vampire, but it's a fox, so it still has rabies or something. Well, that would be bad. That's like assume, a bad combination. Let's assume no Dude, rabies. I, I'm a vampire let's, now, but I also have rabies. Let's assume. Can we assume no rabies? Let's just no rabies. All right, that's fair. All right. <laughs> Any fox that our viewers may have are free to bite Cedric. Is that where you're going with this? Yeah, yeah. For, everyone <laughs> has a pet fox out there. You be careful. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it on. Aren't we going down to Virginia in not too long? Good kid bit there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Richmond next weekend. So yeah. Who knows? People we might just show up to the site with <laughs> <laughs> who knows what. Yeah. Just a slew of foxes <laughs> out to get me. That's fine. Yeah, you're okay that's with this? That's fine. Ah, two ley lines. Found one. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. All right, Terrence. A bit of an uphill climb here. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Yeah. He's got to fall down to 17, get himself a stomping ground. I don't know, maybe he's a, a step ahead and he sided in uh, Nature's Climb. Possible. It does kill Hollow One. That's what could happen. Faithless looting. Got to power through it. <laughs> got to find the answer. Yeah. Narc Amoebas, get out of here. Yeah, garbage Narc Amoebas. We're going to go back over to Julian. Julian with a mountain. And now Goblin Guide in for two. Trigger. Top card, Steam Vent. It's going to go to the hand there for Campo. Campo's going to fall down to 15. Free cards. Love free cards. Prize Amalgam to draw. When you just start casting your 1-1s, one 1-2s, one and 3-3s, three you need those free cards. Here's an Insolent Neonate. So we're going to head back over to Julian, who will draw an Insolent Neonate of his own. In with Goblin Guy, Trigger, Blood Ghast. <laughs> Better in the <laughs> graveyard. Tough to cast that one. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, I'm not sure Terrence has another land in his hand. Uh, I know he doesn't. So it, it, I'm a little surprised he didn't want to block there and just sacrifice. Yeah, cycle through an extra card. Oh, oh, he did kidding. have it. Okay. Just kidding. Makes Another more DNA. sense now. Now he can get to blocking. Ugh. Well, technically, you're right, but yuck. Looks like on upkeep. Discard Vengevine. Draw. I, I believe he already drew for his turn. Did he? I, if he did, I missed it. I thought it was the lightning bolt this turn. There's Neonate. Okay. He might go for it again. Yeah. Hoping to hit a land here. Jeez. If, if he does. Oh. Teamer Battle Rage instead. That would have been insane. Yeah. That would have been two Venge Vines back and attacking. Yeah. And I, I like where Julian's head is at this game. Like, keeping the one lander, but you have the, the ley line. Mm -hmm. Definitely do that. You know, he, his play was a little risky digging for that land, but you definitely do that. You just end up winning the game if you double Venge Mine there. Yeah, I mean, there's a pretty big payoff there. Neonates is going to block the Goblin Guide. Sack, discard, conflagrate, draw a card. Now he's going to sacrifice Will Campo, his Bloodstained Mire. And there's a Blood Crypt. So Terrence is doing it uh, the extremely difficult way, but he's he's trying. Well, he's got an opponent stuck on one. So he definitely has a shot. Mm -hmm. We can go Stinkweed. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably open with a 3-3 three, three for three here. Yeah, just play Prize Amalgam, I guess. OK. I would definitely want just the best possible attacker on the board when my opponent is stuck on one. And Julian has drawn a mountain. Let's see if that opens things up for him. You see the lightning bolt. We knew he has a teamer battle rage. There is bolt on prize amalgam. That'll be exiled. Yeah, I like this. He had a cathartic reunion in his hand, but he's thinking next turn I can cathartic reunion. 
And if I hit another land drop, then I can potentially play multiple, you know, discard another card, play multiple of these hollowed ones, get the Venge Vines back. I like waiting a turn there. Yeah. I mean, not under much duress either. Can definitely just wait. Sure, but I, you know, we haven't seen Julian on camera before. True. This, this is potentially a very new spot for him. I know in, in my younger, earlier days that I often felt rushed to try to win games. Cathartic reunion now, two, three. All right. And this ley line is just. Yeah, it's a beating. Ridiculous. Just, yeah, this has just been a giant beating. Here's Cathartic Reunion. Looks like a Battle Rage and a Cathartic Three. Reunion. Land. Stomping Ground. So I think his hand is a hollowed one. Yep. Uh, the little one-two haster. Uh, Swift spear. spear. Oh, insulin unit. Yes, we're doing it. We are doing it. We are. Oh, he is doing we it. We are doing it. Is this triple Vengevine? Hollow one for freebie. Trigger one. Trigger two. Only double. Yeah. Beat down a clock. Reveal blood gas. Yeah. I think we're all done, Zo here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't imagine Terrence coming back from this. Well, we know his next card, so he's only going to get one draw step beyond that with this Neonate. Yeah, discard Narcomedo, draw. He's going down really low in life total, and he's facing a lot of big monsters mm -hmm. here. Draw card. Picked up a wooded foothills, but I don't think that's really going to do much of anything. Leyline was the backbreaker, and that was just about finding a clock, and Julian Grace Martin did do that.